Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we got a special Fight Night Champion fight, which is a Rocky Three rematch. In Rocky Three, Rocky Balboa took on Clubber Lang twice. The first time he lost, the second time he won. So now they're going to fight a third time to see who the definitive winner is. defensive guard there tonight we have a guy who throws the uppercut standing against the guy who has to really be conscious of his defensive posture against it yeah the main thing don't keep your head right in the middle get your head on the side a little bit if you leave it in the middle you're in the exact zone that the man with the uppercut wants you to be in turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Who's the ring? Who's the ring? Good exchange. He fires back. He snaps a jab. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good flush shot upstairs. You see him holding on. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. to improve that accuracy miss with the headshot head. 10 right. seconds remaining in this round all right all right you are dominating this fight keep it up keep doing what you're doing okay listen here we go round two is underway there's a good right hand Lovers left, landing well. Scored well up top. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, keep your feet moving. Crashes home with the uppercut. Yeah, good work. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Good, solid right hand he lands there. And now he's targeting upstairs. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Lovers on the receiving end of a hook. And now he scores with that left to the body. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Big left hand. He's doing fine. You're okay. And banging away he goes. He is not meant for life on the outside. 
guy there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. There's a right hand. Glover's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. There's the combo to the body. End of that round. And the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of fall up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got to hit the hook, get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is, does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? Oh, that tells me he's still hurt. But that tells me he's still a little drunk. Takes one, gives one. The right he hand scores well. Glover's left now getting into the mix. Keep moving. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Targeting the uppercut, and it works. There's that right hand he scores with. to the midsection with the left. Up top with the right hand. Block that punch. And that's the end of round three. We gotta do a little more. We have to pull ahead of this round, okay? We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard, where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time clean, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano, you know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels, and they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. He does a nice job with the uppercut. And I think fans, especially fans that like the big shots, so lots of offense, they love that power punch. Yeah, because, you know, it's something that comes out of nowhere. It has real impact. It has vision value to it. I mean, it gets your attention. All of a sudden, it explodes up the middle, and bang, the head comes up, and it gives an opportunity for a little sweat to fly and for other punches to find that chin before it comes back down. There's a nice left hand able to get in. And he scores with a three-punch combo. Well off the mark by Glover. Glover's hit by a big shot there. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Good return fire that time. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left.
him with the right hand. Glover's lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on, and he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. New round underway here. He's hoping that it doesn't look like the last stanza where he was knocked down. Well, this is a sport of profession where hope is attached to something very tangible. You know, it's not just a notion. We hope. But it's attached to his jab. It's attached to his head movement. He has a good jab. He has good head movement. Guess what? He has hope. He'll be okay the next round. One, two, one, two. A three, one, what a three. shot. Big hook Finish comes in. Four. There it is. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. <laughs> he gets and if he wants to stay up he's gonna have to grab on kill a little time accurate hook wow that was a big shot that floored him and it's a big shot that may end him right here that looked like the great pitch of great maddox his sinker ball boy it went down quick here unable to go the distance he couldn't rise up and beat the count and it looks like rocky balboa walks away with the definitive second win in this best two out of the three if you enjoyed this video or want to suggest another fight like share and subscribe and comment below